Part two, attempt two, to put Windows 7 on this Dimension 4600, which is being a royal pain in the ass. Oh my. Um, it's not having it. Every time I try to do it, it borks the flash drive somehow. So, I've re-imaged the drive one more time, and I was, in the previous part, able to get it to boot into Windows 7 with the existing hard drive disconnected. That means there may be something on this drive that it's reading that's borking the flash drive. Nothing I haven't seen before. So we're going to disconnect it. Once again. And pull the cables out because I have a spare drive. There's also an 80 gig. And we'll hook it up and just for fun we'll see if it'll actually boot off of that okay that drive is in it just spun up just powered the system and just out of curiosity I want to see if it's gonna boot I don't know what's on it or what the status of this drive is or even if it's any good so let's see what happens just for fun okay apparently nothing on it but we're gonna take another precaution we're gonna boot the diagnosticus again and wipe the first hundred megabytes of this drive just in case so let me get that in there and do that well, the machine said uh, not so fast buddy no any drive found I have changed the jumper on the drive to master even though it was set to cable select and theoretically should work as it is I want to see if the BIOS can detect it at all we'll check that first Drive configuration doesn't even see it. So apparently this drive is no good. That's fucking wonderful. Wow, this thing is fighting me at every turn. I don't know the status of this drive, so I guess it is borked, but th this is really starting to piss me off. This time we have a Seagate drive. Also 80 gig, just happen to be. And let's see this time. If we go to drive configuration. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know. Let me do that and go back in the BIOS. I have no idea what the hell is going on at this point. This is really fucking bizarre certainly not what I was expecting is it spinning it's spinning yeah, I'm not worried about keyboard failure oh hard drive good now it sees it okay So one more time we'll reboot, go in the boot menu, CD-ROM, and boot the diagnostics. Okay, now it sees it. We'll just, for shits and grins, run the internal cache and the smart quick test. This looks good. You know, I mean, if you start with a bad drive, so this one looks to be, well, it's slow now. Okay. We'll see what happens when it's done. The slowness is, again, nothing I haven't seen before. So that looks good. And now we'll go to Destructive Write. And we got G-J-X-O-M-X-M-O. -M -O. Okay, that's interesting. It just gave me some sort of weird can't do anything fuck you error oh this one is really taking the cake and after a reboot it's magically working so we'll wait till that data on the left column gets to 100 megabytes and try again with the flash drive in after a full power down and see what the hell happens okay USB flash drive let's see what the fuck happens this time That's brilliant. 
that's absolutely brilliant okay I've done something unconventional ha ha that's awesome that still didn't work what I did do is I went and I burned an actual DVD only problem is this don't have a DVD drive well, it does say DVD-ROM. Well, maybe we got a shot at it then. That might make it really easy without my having to swap in a damn drive. I'll disconnect the flash drive, which is a different drive burned on a different machine or created on a different machine. We're going to reboot. Go to the boot menu. And tell it... Well, the drive is flashing the light. Ah, it doesn't seem to be able to read it. That's just brilliant. I mean, it says DVD-ROM right there. This, this, I, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, this thing is just fucking unreal. I've never had a machine cause this much trouble. This worked for CDs, but not for DVDs, apparently. All right, well, I went and did what I didn't want to do. I went and disconnected the internal drives, hooked this one up. I don't know if the machine even fucking recognized it. Doesn't look like it. That's wonderful. Shouldn't be any reason for that. Maybe because it wasn't ready. I don't know. We'll reboot and try again. This drive does work. This this thing is fucked. Okay, I changed the jumper on the drive to master. Now I reset the BIOS to appease that. We'll hit F12 for the fucking boot menu. I'm really like at my wits end with this thing. I don't have the hard drive connected. I just want to see if it'll fucking even boot. It did boot off the flash drive once, which is really peculiar that it just refuses to do that now. There it is. Okay, now we got something happening. And I went for a D actual DVD because it can't overwrite anything on it once it's burned that's it i mean it you know it can be done but nothing that is going to happen at this low level of the system and interestingly enough it's actually booting considerably faster than usb did all right well in that case maybe just maybe we got a shot at it let's see what happens we're almost there I swear, what a fucking train wreck. Okay, starting Windows. Should be getting a logo. Yes. It shall breathe. It is. The drive is reading. Aha! Okay, we're in. The mouse moves. Everything's good. Power it right down. Now I'm going to hook the hard drive back up. Now we're in the BIOS with the hard drive connected. Primary master is auto. Might pay to check before it gives us a no any drive found error. So we'll wait through this once again and make sure it comes up as an 80 gig drive and then we can try booting yet again like is Jay losing his touch like what the fuck is going on really yep hard drive 80 gig excellent and oh it's booting already well we're we're actually on our way to fucking victory finally that was goddamn murder. That really was. Fucking absolutely refused to boot. 
via USB. It did it only once. Really, really, really peculiar. But at least we're on to something. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to donate this drive to the project. There's a bay right in there where I can mount it. The original XP drive will be left untouched. This will be the Windows 7 drive because chances are somebody's going to fucking whine and complain. Where's AOL? And then I'm going to have to deal with that. And I'm going to call my dad and tell him, if you look in the front, there's two hard drives and there's a cable plugged into one and not the other. Just swap the cable to the other one and don't call me again. Here we are. We're going in. The mouse moves. We have a shot at it. We'll hit next. Hit install. A little vibratey as far as the drive goes, but all right, I'll take what I can get. Spinning up, doing things, floppy drive seeked, reading, yes, home premium x86, next, accept, next, custom, the OneDrive, install. Will it get started? Oh God, it's happening. I'll come back later. What a wonderful fucking thing. Username is going to be default as usual. And the name is going to be Fren. Yes, pronounced Fren. It's a long joke. No password. We'll hit uh, recommended is fine. Eastern time zone. 136 is probably about right. January 4th, Friday. Yes, good. Next. Home network. I do have the cable plugged in already. So we might possibly, maybe, have all the drivers we need in already. So far, the display looks okay. That doesn't mean it'll come up, but I did check the video card in this. And allegedly, I think this is a GeForce MX5200. And allegedly, there's Windows 7 drivers for it, which I've already downloaded. So, we'll just hope and pray with that. And we'll let this go and boot into Windows for the first time. Once it does that, I might just check Device Mangler, and then we're going to shut it down, disconnect this, and reconnect how it was, reconfigure everything, and let it boot up and detect these drives. Oh, there we go. There's my genuine version of Windows.